most about Sunday? Well, I think as an offense, uh, we operated about as clean as we have all season, and that's really all 11 guys. And we were able to sustain drives. It was a really short game. You think about it, not, not a ton of possessions. And, you know, they went out there and we executed, especially in the red zone. So it's good to see. What, did you see evidence of, of maybe some cleaner pockets and, and better protection than you'd seen in a, in a bit? You know, each week's a different challenge. Uh, the line did a really good job last week. It was a, the, whole, the whole offense, all 11 guys. You know, a lot of times in the passing game, it's easy to focus on the line. It could be other issues. It could be, you know, guy gets jammed, route depth's not, it's off, you know, gets off the green, and there's multiple facts. But I think in all, <clears throat> all 11 guys in the passing game last week were pretty efficient. I think it was eight guys were able to catch a pass in mm-hmm. that game. What led to the full distribution of the football like that? Well, I mean, you know, a lot of weeks, you know, let's, we, we got a lot of guys we try to get the ball to, and every week's different, and some things, things take it out, or, you, you know, you get out of a play because of a certain look, and it just doesn't fall that way. But last week was one where we were able to get in a rhythm and just kind of the way the, the way the game went and it fell, and it was good to see because that's you want guys getting involved. The more guys, the better. In my what do you think about Ryan specifically as far as his, his decisiveness, is how he handled the huddle, just his poise uh, for first start? No, it was, you know, Ryan's a, a vet, and he's a good pro. It, and that's, you know, the, always the un, you know what Ryan brings to the table. And, you know, if you had to go out there and start a rookie for the first time, there could be a lot of different factors. But at least we were uh, pretty confident in knowing Ryan's history and that he would go out there and, and play well. How encouraging was it also to be able to cur- convert as many long third downs as you did on Sunday? Yeah, no, you don't get – the percentages are you don't get many of them, but that the one that John who hit was, was big. It really was because a lot of times you get in those situations and unfortunately we had had a negative play and you, where you are in the field and there's a lot of variations and the percentages are you don't get many of those. But uh, – and Ferk made a great block. Darius, uh, DJ, Corey came across. Johnny broke, broke the first tackle, and he made an explosive play. What are your impressions of the run game? I think that's one thing that's getting lost in last week is how well Derrick Henry and those guys he is. pushed off the ball in 90 hard yards. He did. It was. And that's what said the game was, was short. It, uh, you know, it felt like the clock was moving the whole time. And, and we obviously, Derrick's a big piece of our offense, and we feel that to get him going, I mean, you're going to take a couple, it's going to take a couple of hits. And uh, each week would be a good challenge, and you know was able to. And it, it's, you've seen it in the second half of the Atlanta game. You saw it last week, and we feel we just got to continue to get better. And they're number one against the run this week, so they are. the challenge is there. The challenge is there. Very good inside. They're they're salty. They'll be moving around, pressuring. So we got we got work cut out for us. You know, I, was, I imagine you're probably as close with Delaney as probably many uh, sure anybody on this team. How do you, do you find yourself trying to encourage him to try to keep him? Positive as he as he kind of works through maybe a less than ideal situation. Yeah, I mean it's all those guys. I mean it's it's that's a, the the challenge you I love about the NFL and, and the job that you know I was fortunate to to be in for and the challenge each week. And it's unfortunate that injuries happen. Obviously, I know Delaney very well. You always want guys to be you know in a good mind mind for, uh, set if they got to come back from an injury and he's engaged and Delaney knows where he's at and. So that, you know, you aren't going to get into any kind of injuries. But from anybody's mindset, we like to get a lot of guys involved and he'll be ready when he's ready. Walker's right. situation has led to a lot more opportunities, I would imagine, for John o. Smith. You spent a lot of time with him. What are your thoughts on how he's bounced back and how he's rounding into shape? Yeah, uh, New did a really good job last week. He caught two probably the best passes. Uh, best, he had two of the best catches I've seen him make since he's been here. Very first play of the game. Balls. Put it right, put it right on the money, back shoulder. New comes out of the, out of the, outside the framework of his body, snagged it, even the one down in the red zone. He did a heck of a job catching it. He, he's getting, you know, it's like that. That's a very difficult position, and we put a lot on Janu ever since he's been here. You know, he's a, a guy that a lot of people have rejected at F. He does a ton of roles for us, as all those tight ends do, and he's stepped up. But those, those are, I mean, think about that position alone. You're asking guys to go in there, and and, and a lot of plays do the role that you're asking 300-pound tackles to do, and then you're going to ask them to come in there and do it a role of the 205, 210 pound receiver. And a lot of times it takes a, a few years depending on their, you know, their background, their skill set. But uh, it was good to see. You mentioned how good they are against the run. Is it the case where you kind of have to be stubborn about the running game? I asked Taylor this yesterday. He sure. told me to ask you, so I'm asking. Yeah, no, I'll t- I'll t- no feel free. Yeah, I mean, it, it's just, you, know, you, you you go in each week and you're trying to, uh, you know the issues you may have, but there's certain things that we, th- this week is a, Definite challenge. And a lot of times you, you get in the games and, you know, your first four runs may not hit. 
and you've got to have the right mindset to make sure that you keep calling them and be smart about situation and, and the way things you have set up. But that, that certainly you see that happen week after week after week. And uh, again, it would be based on our matchups and what we like. How is Pruitt done with the fullback stuff? Done a nice job. Uh, like I think he, he's adapted to a, a role, and Michael's one of those guys. He's, he's a talented football player that can do a lot of different things. And he's taken a role that, that Stock had for us last year in certain spots, and he's done different things than Stock has. But Pruitt's embraced it. He, he just wants – he's a good football player. He just wants to find a role and, and – happy with what he's trying to carve out for himself. Are, are you more comfortable calling some of those things now than you were earlier in the year with him? It's about, it's like the evolution of any season as guys grow into roles. I wouldn't say anything more from week one. It's just a lot of that depends on the game plan too, whether we, how we feel week to week, what gives us an advantage. Ted Davis and Brown, I think both had their season high for catches last week. Just happenstance or, or do you think there's any reason behind that? Or? Uh, a lot of factors. I mean, again, the way the game was flowing, we uh, obviously stayed on the field. You get more opportunities to do it. And just some of the things of what, where the reads took them, the way the, and luckily they found them. They made some good plays and catch and runs. And Ryan did a nice job getting the ball into them. I know there's a lot of factors that obviously go mm -hmm. into this, but, but how much of it was Ryan and, and how he played Sunday in terms of, of the improvement with those guys? I, and, I, and I get what you're, you're asking there, but the, the, the and, and that's, to, to be fair to everybody, it, it really does. And I, and I hate to sit here and see a cliche, but like we protected well, guys ran good routes. Uh, you know, our spacing was a little bit better, not perfect, but then the way the game flowed. So. Was his maybe decisiveness something that, that stuck out just in terms of uh, everything kind of building from that? Uh, look, it, you know, Ryan's, <laughs> Ryan's a veteran quarterback and he's, he's been around the block. And it, like I said, the, the entire offense did a nice job. And then we're going to have a challenge this week. So, you know, as soon as you get over Sunday, it's all right, how do we improve? What are going to be our issues this Sunday? And that's, that's kind of where we're, foc where we're the, focusing. The kind of deal, though, where a quarterback change maybe got everybody a little, I don't know, focused or a little, hey, we've got to work that much harder to get in sync with this guy? Or There's a lot of, I mean, it's where you are in the season. I mean, you're sitting there at two and four. You got to win, you got to get going. You don't want to fall fall back, and we know it's a long season, but you know you, there's some holes you don't want to put yourself into, and so there was there was I think last week it's a credit to the whole team. There was great urgency in all three phases.